babes, so today is going to be a holiday themed video. I'm going to show you guys how I wrap my gifts. I love gift wrapping and I love the holiday season. So the first gift idea is going to be by Scentbird. I love Scentbird because I tried out one of their perfumes and I actually found my favorite perfume through them. It's so hard for me to find a perfume, you guys. I'm at the store forever trying to smell every single perfume and I actually am attracted to old lady scents. I know it's kind of weird but that's really what I'm attracted to. I like a very musky, sort of older, mature scent. So with Scentbird, it's actually super cool. So you guys can sign up for a subscription, that's what it is. And it's for $14.95 a month, and you guys get to pick a scent from like so many different designers that they have online. And what's so cool about them is when you look at the each scent, you can see what the notes are in it, you can see how they describe them, if they describe them for a date night, if they describe them for casual, what season they describe them for, so I actually really like that about them. It comes in this little black pouch, which is super cute, and with your first order, you actually get it in this really white cute case. How cute is this? And what it does is it's a twist top, so you twist it, and then this is the supply that you guys get. So you actually really get a generous amount, which is a monthly amount of a perfume. So that's what you're paying for. The one that I got was by Tom Ford and it's called Black Orchid. I really liked this one because again, it's such a mature scent and it actually has these really, really strong notes that I love. So I wanted to try this one out and I actually really, really like it. I always apply it to my wrist and I always put it here by my neck. I love how this one is like a really super strong scent because it's going to last you all day. I cannot stand when I buy a perfume, I put it on and you spend a lot of money on it and then it doesn't even last. So that's the other really good thing about Scentbird is that you're paying $14.95 a month for a monthly supply instead of buying a $100 bottle. I was actually thinking a really cool idea would be to use one of your monthly supplies and give it as like a stocking stuffer to somebody. So that's actually another cool thing that you guys can do. But yeah, it just comes in this really cute twist top bottle. I love it so much. I always carry it around with me in my purse. You guys can cancel the subscription at any time. The good thing about it for me is that I can try different perfumes because it's so hard for me to stick with one certain perfume. So I love how you can just try different ones. And I find that I get bored over time, so that's what I really love about them. They also newly introduced a hand cream collection. So with this one, I got Rose and Prosecco. It comes in this bottle, super, super cute. It smells so good. As soon as I saw Rose and Prosecco, I'm like, that's going to be me. I love the smell of it. It's so rosy and it just, it actually has like this little undertone of a citrusy sort of smell as well and kind of champagne-y. I guess that's where the Prosecco comes in, but Oh, I love it so much. It's so super feminine and it's actually a very soft texture. It's not that sort of very sticky feel. I love how they did a smaller bottle because it's really easy to just put inside of your purse. Another thing I love about this cream is that it is cruelty free. It has a lot of essential oils and also natural fruit extracts inside of it too. The newest addition to their collection is their own scrubs. So this one I chose the coconut and sugar scrub. The bottle looks like this. I really like how the bottle is like really massive so you can see my hand. How it compares to the bottle. I really like that it's actually a really good size. I'm like gonna go ahead and smell it because I haven't actually smelled it yet. Mmm, I can definitely smell the coconut and the sugar. Oh, it smells so good. Ooh, the feeling is so nice. It literally feels like you're rubbing sugar crystals on your hand. Very soft. So this one also has a couple of essential oils in there and also has natural fruit extracts in there as well. Okay guys, so the next gift giving idea is going to be by the Peach Box. So I got to choose a couple of items. I love how they come in this very matte sleep packaging. And then you literally just remove the box like this and it comes in this very classic box. When I saw this packaging, I'm like, yes. Like, did you read my mind? Because my gift packaging is going to look just like this and it's kind of themed around this. That's what the box looks like. I love it so much. So you literally just slide the box open like this. This is the watch that I chose. Super cute. So I wanted to get something very sleek and silver. That's what it looks like. Really, really, really pretty. I love how it has like these little stones in the middle. Super cute. The other thing I got from them was a bangle. So they have a couple of jewelry items and they also have bangles and watches. So I decided to go with a bangle and a watch. This is the bangle that I chose. So pretty. So that's what the bangle looks like on me. So pretty. I love the silver because it's so classic. 
And the bangle also comes with this little pouch here. So cute. Why do you need to really rewrap this? It is so pretty. And the writing is in silver. So nice. Next gift I got was a couple of bath bombs by Brew Baker Cosmetics. So I found them on Amazon and I was just looking for like an extra side gift that I could get for Amy. So she kind of already knows that she's getting this, so it's okay. But what was actually really cute about them is that they came in different little themes. So this one is actually the Christmas themed box. And then they have one that's specifically chocolate. So they have like different ones, which is really, really cute. So this one says Merry Christmas on it. And the box just looks like this. And then another really good side gift is a candle from Bath & Body Works. The scent of this one is mahogany teakwood. It smells so good. It actually smells like a cologne. I'm actually very attracted to those certain scents. And I love how this one is super sleek and black. And then the top is a chrome top, which I love. And that's what it looks like on the inside. They always have a ton of promotions on their candles. So that's what I usually like to wait for. And then you can get like two, three, or four at a time. And you can give them away to people. So it's a good way to just save a little bit of money. So I got Amy a few other things, which I can't show you guys in this video because she's not aware of them. So it's a surprise so I got these pajamas from boohoo I love these pajamas I'm really hoping I get them as well from her <clears throat> I really like these PJs I hope my sister gets them for me too oh yeah I got the black ones these also come in red as well I really like the material of them it's actually a stretchy material which I love about them I got a medium for her in this one and most of the time on Boohoo their stuff is 50% off which I love so that's another really good saving tip. For the pants at the bottom they have a stripe at the bottom in white and then the top is just a really nice thick stretchy band. Even the leg has a stretch to it as well. Okay guys so we're gonna go ahead and wrap Amy's gift and you can find these at the dollar store or you can also find them at Target. Really simple and easy to use. So literally you just lift them up like that. What I'm going to do is line the bottom with a piece of my black tissue paper. So I'm just going to take a piece of my black tissue paper and line the bottom of the box with it. I just don't like seeing the bottom of the box color. So that just looks much better. And then I'm going to put her PJs on one side, which they fit perfectly on that side. And then on this side, I have a space for, guess what? My bath bombs. So I'm gonna put my bath bombs on that side. And then I'm gonna show you guys a trick that I have right now up my sleeve. Here's the thing with the iridescent tissue paper. When you just put it like this, it gets like a bit greeny. So you really want it to pop. So what I'm gonna do is my trick is I'm gonna line it with white tissue paper first and then put the iridescent over top. So I have a piece of white tissue paper. I'm just folding it in half here. I'm just tucking it in on the side. And then I'm gonna put my iridescent paper on top. So that's what it looks like, you guys. It just pops a lot more if you put something white underneath it. What I'm going to do, because I have other stuff to wrap for her, I'm going to use two of these boxes, then I'm gonna show you another tip that I have. So this is part two of Amy's gift. I just couldn't show you guys what is exactly in here because she has no idea about it yet. So here's part one and part two. So because I have two boxes here, we could wrap them separate or we could wrap them together. So wrapping them together is gonna save you guys a little bit of money because you guys don't have to wrap both of the boxes separate. What I like to do is just grab my invisible clear tape here. And what we're gonna do is turn it over on its side over here and we're going to tape it down. You wanna tape it down on all sides just so that it's secure. This is just so that nothing comes out from the box. So now we're gonna wrap this box as one and not wrap it as two separate ones. Okay guys, so I'm gonna use my matte black wrapping paper. I'm so excited to use this. I've put my roll of my wrapping paper at the bottom here. What I like to do is make sure it's even on this side and even on the other side as well. The other tip is I like to make sure that this is going to be enough to cover the bottom of the box. So what you wanna do is you wanna move the roll aside, bring it over like this, and make sure that it covers at least half of the box. So this one's going a little bit over. So what you do is you just push the box over, just like that. We know that we're gonna have enough for half. Pull your roll over like this. Grab this piece over here, kind of hold it with your finger, and you know that you need to cut right over here. Okay guys, so I've cut my paper and you can see that there's an overlap there which is exactly what you want. What you don't want is to be short and be stuck with this. So the next thing that you need to do is you need to flip your box upside down because if you don't, then you're gonna have your tape at the top of your box. I'm just gonna put something heavy on each side here to hold these down. You guys have no idea how much gift wrapping makes me happy. Just gonna pull over the one end 
and give it a tape right here. Pull over the other side and make sure it's nice and tight and give it a nice tape at the bottom as well. With this one, I'm gonna give it two pieces of tape. The next thing we're gonna do is work on the sides. So what I like to do is first grab both of my ends like this, pull over to the side here. So kind of crease this here then pinch here on the very corner and bring it down. So now you have a very neat corner right there. And now we're gonna bring this down just like this and then you're gonna use your finger and crease like that so that it's nice and neat. So that's what you're left with, something nice and neat. I feel like I sound like Martha Stewart, but like a young version. What I'm actually gonna do, so that it doesn't show on the sides here, because I don't really like seeing tape on my boxes, is I'm just gonna roll up some tape and put it on the corner right here, and then lift it up and paste it. I'm going to do the same thing right here over this flap. Try to go as close to the edge as possible. You see how you saved paper just by wrapping the both boxes together? now we can flip it back over so I'm gonna be using my thick black ribbon for this I like to cut my ribbon on an angle like this okay so here's the trick to ribbon so you do need to start with the box flipped over again on the bottom side facing up so I'm gonna keep my ribbon actually on my spool before I cut it you're gonna cross it over just like that and you're gonna flip your box again now you have your black ribbon going across like this I'm just gonna chop some of this ribbon off the spool here. I'm just going to tie it now. And this is what we're left with. Just before we tie our bow, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm adding to my gifts this year. I'm so excited about. So I actually bought this branch that has some pine leaves on it. And what I did was I used a plier to cut little pieces off of it. This is what you're left with. Like how cute is that, you guys? I'm gonna turn it around so you guys can see. So that's the bow. You're gonna grab a piece of tape. You're gonna put the tape at the end because I really want this part to stick out. Stick it behind the first row of this ribbon right here because that's how we're going to hide it. That's what the finished box looks like, you guys. So what I did for the labels is I picked a really pretty font and I just put on Word the person's name and then I printed out on big on cardstock. I cut them out into pieces like this, and that's what we're gonna be putting as our name tag. I'm gonna put the tag right here because I want it to look just very natural and organic. To wrap up is our Bath and Body Works candle. My other tip that you guys can do is you guys can use leftover cardboard boxes or package boxes you guys have received in the mail. I found it hard to find boxes to fit stuff like this or it was either too expensive. I'm going to put a little bit of black tissue paper just like that and then I'm gonna grab another piece to wrap up the candle. Lay down your candle like that and it perfectly fits inside of your box and tape the top to tape down the sides as well so that it's very securely shut. And now we're ready to wrap the gift. So for this one, I am going to be doing the exact same thing as I did with Amy's wrapping it with the black paper and also with the ribbon. So I'm gonna move on to the next gift so that I don't repeat that for you guys. So the next gift we're gonna wrap are the items from the peach box. I really love the boxes that they're in. So we're just gonna go ahead and add some ribbon over top of them and we're gonna add another accent that I'm gonna show you guys. So what I have here is very, very thin ribbon and I just cut enough to do a bow on the top. I'm not gonna be doing it crisscross this time. I'm just gonna be doing it on the top here. So the other thing I wanted to show you guys, another really cute craft idea is I bought these little tiny white ornaments. I found them for a really good price on Black Friday at Michael's the Craft Store. How adorable are these guys? I thought it was a really cute idea to add these to the gifts and you're actually giving someone like a free ornament to use next year too, which is really cute. And I like how the peach box is kind of white and black themed, so it went perfectly with this. So just make sure to stick the ornament through the ribbon there. And now I'm just gonna tie my bow. And then I'm just gonna cut my ends. I'm actually gonna keep my ends nice and long on this one because I just think it's really cute. So that's the finished product with this guy. So cute with the white ornament on the side. I also found these in like an iridescent or you can also get them in chrome. So that's basically how I'm wrapping this one. You guys can also move the ribbon to the center 
if you want to cover the top there. This one we're going to wrap it the same way and just do it crisscross. So now I'm just going to cut the ribbon. I did this one very classy just with a black bow so that I can show you guys two different options. So one with the ornament and one with just the ribbon. So that you guys don't ruin the top part here, you guys can just flip it over and actually paste the label on the back here so that the person can just flip it over and see who it's for. Now we're gonna be wrapping the scent bird stuff. So what I'm going to be doing is using one of the smaller boxes of the clothing boxes that I got. We're gonna line this one in white because I think it's gonna suit these products much better. What I've done is I folded it in half this way and we're gonna stick it into the box here. So here's the fun tip so that everything stays in place inside of your box because I know when you open things, things can get kind of messy. So I just rolled up a piece of tape. I'm going to put it behind here. You can put one top and bottom, but I'm just going to do one to show you guys. So now this guy doesn't roll around anymore when you open up the box. So how cute is that? So all three of our items are in there securely. And then what you're gonna do is just flip this over. Now we're just gonna add the top part of our box. So again, you wanna tape the box shut here. For the scentbird one, I'm gonna do it a little bit different. I'm actually gonna do it in white and then we're gonna add a little bit of a chrome accent. need to add our ribbon. I'm actually going to use this chrome ribbon that I have here. I think it's going to dress it up really pretty. So with this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save a little bit of ribbon here and I'm going to cut it right there. So just make sure that that is all lined up here. Pull it nice and snug. Now we're going to grab a piece and do the exact same thing the other way. Pull it nice and tight. You have a crisscross version in chrome just like that. We're gonna put our label over top and just keep it really nice and classy. I have a label here that says mom and we're just going to tape that onto the top there. Put it on the back here and I'm just gonna add that to the middle. And there we go. We have very sleek and classic packaging in white and a chrome accent. Okay guys, so we have one more thing to wrap up that's super exciting. I'm going to show you guys the items that I'm going to be giving away in my 5k giveaway. I'm going to be giving away another one of these bags because you guys really loved the last one that I gave. I gave away the black one last time matching the exact one that I have. This time I'm giving away this gorgeous mocha sort of coffee colored one. I can't wait for one of you guys to get this because I love this bag so much. You guys also get a hand cream from Scentbird, the exact same one that I love, Rose and Prosecco, a the Peach Box bangle as well, and yours is in gold so that it matches your bag, so you get this exact one. I love giving things away, it's just so exciting. You get a bangle, you get a bangle, everybody gets a bangle. And lastly, I'm giving away an Anastasia liquid lipstick set. I can't wait for one of you guys to get this. I'm going to show you guys a close-up. So in order to enter this giveaway, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel, comment down below on this video, and also follow me on my Instagram page. I want to take this moment to thank you guys so, so much for 5k on YouTube. Thank you guys for always supporting me. Thank you guys for all of your sweet comments. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. all packaged up can't wait to mail this to the lucky babe that gets this package hey guys so that's it for all of my holiday gift wrapping i hope you guys learned a couple of new tips and make sure you guys hit the notification bell right next to the subscribe button so that you guys get notified for all of my newest videos thank you guys so much for watching happy holidays and i'll see you babes next time <laughs> Crisscross. Bentley! We're gonna shut this off now.